So, my Nardians, and today's Nardy Pep Talk, Monday Motivation, Motivational Monday. The word I got for y'all today is, um, fuck the no, fuck, fuck the, <laughs> fuck the naysayers, you feel me? Fuck them, no clothes, fuck the naysayers, okay? Whether the naysayer is your motherfucking mama, your daddy, your cousin, the damn ant on the floor, the bird up in the sky, fuck them, fuck all of them. You keep your truth, you believe in yourself. Okay, you know where the fuck you're headed in life. Yeah, you have your plan for your life. Yeah, so stick with it. What inspired this week's message, right, is that I was speaking to an aunt of mine, and I'm just like, you know, I call my auntie to say hello, see how she's doing, give her my new number. Right now. So, kid y'all not, I kid y'all not, literally. Next thing, I know I'm going to on the phone with her and I'm thinking, all right, I just called to see how she's doing or whatever. Next thing, she's all like, oh, you don't work and this, that, and the third. And and, and um, I was telling her about my music stuff. And I'm also, um, I should be performing on November 5th in Brooklyn. So anyways, my music stuff, right? And I'm literally telling her these things. And I kind of felt like, you know, I don't think she did it on purpose. And it's not just her that's doing this. But I've experienced many people doubting my abilities, trying to tell me how to live my life, and just questioning how I live my life. And I'm just like, motherfucker, if I, unless I'm asking your ass for blood clad rent money or money to feed my child and eat, I don't want to hear shit from nobody about what the fuck Nardia blood clad Bennett is doing. Okay? Because whether I don't believe in me or not, me I'm make it. Me destined to blood clot, for blood clot greatness. Me I chat to family, four, friend, the goddamn turk up on the ground, the, the, the eagle up in the sky. Me I chat to do all the blood clots. Yeah, yeah. And I want to implore you guys to not allow anyone to talk shit about you and to throw dirt on your name. You feel me? And just like a good friend of mine said, she said to me, she said, she was like, girl, fuck that shit. You ain't got to explain yourself to no motherfucking body. And literally when I said to my aunt, I was like, you know, I, I am like, I do have a job. I pet sit. And she's like, oh, really? You do? And was just like laughing. And then she was all like, oh, are they real pets? And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, ugh. I don't know, y'all. It just be just disappointing sometimes. Like when I think. Like, you know, when I think I have like a good family member or ally in my corner, that's like, you know, and I'm not saying she isn't, but like, I just, I just don't like shit like that. Like literally her, oh, you're not working. Sounds like my mom's fucking rhetoric. Like on God, I don't know what the fuck it is with my family and them worrying about if I'm working or not, but clearly my look blood clot good, my clean ever, my clothes ever blood clot clean. My daughter nice and fluffy and she eat blood clot good. Yeah. So guess what? Fuck the naysayers. Fuck them. I got my plans. Okay? I don't need to go out there. I don't work jobs, bitch. I am a job. That's what the fuck I'm going to say to the next motherfucker that, that want to job shame me. Or worry about how the fuck I'm making my goddamn money. Okay? So, um, this message is really for people that believe that no one believe in them. People always talking down on their motherfucking name. And for me, I would say the people that do not believe in me the most are my immediate family. I'm not even gonna kid you. Like they literally, with the exception of the children, right? They, I feel like my immediate family goes out of their way to treat me like shit and make me feel other. You get what I'm saying? So this is for anyone that come from a dysfunctional, narcissistic family, and they're the black sheep. This message is for you. Fuck the naysayers. Fuck mama and them, fuck grandmama too. Uncle, daddy, the fucking family pet. Fuck all them motherfuckers. And do you, okay? Because I have my plans. I don't have to explain shit to no motherfucking body. And I'm not gonna tell y'all no lies. Like literally, 
this is why I keep a good little distance from some of my family. Because, you know, there's good and great people in my family, yes. But, like, it's the most frustrating thing when you keep on trying in life. And then you have a bunch of naysayers. <laughs> all up in your fucking ear. Shut the fuck up, bumba class. Shut up! <laughs> And then, one thing that had me kind of like low-key tied to, like I was telling her about my music stuff, and um, in case y'all don't know, it is called the music business, not the music friendship, not the music boyfriend, music girlfriends, music business. So, it costs money to make money. Literally, in the music business, you are flipping money to flip it into making more money with your talent. That is how it works, right? So, I'm telling her like, you know, she's like, oh, so I was like, I've been um, invited to perform like six, seven times this year. Even to um, Hip Hop 50, right? So she's like, oh, you ain't performing? I'm like, no. She's like, oh, why? And I'm like, well, you know, it's the music business. Just like I explained to y'all, you got to have fucking money to get your shit out there certain ways, right? Unless you just naturally go viral online or some shit, which I have, but not musically yet. So she's there like, oh, you should find a sponsor. Uh, 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 da, da, da. And I'm saying to her, I'm like, wait, so if I couldn't even find a fucking ride home from the airport, not the airport, um, the train station, after I got fucking uh, my head injury, right? And I had two kids with me, y'all. Uh, got out the hospital in the middle of the night. Couldn't even find a fucking ride from Blood Clot Poughkeepsie. May I have to ask somebody. One of the kids' moms, I was with my stepson. His mom got us a lift or whatever. But couldn't even find a fucking ride due to an emergency. You get what I'm saying? So how the fuck am I going to miraculously now... Find a sponsor to sponsor my fucking music career. No. Why Why she and my auntie don't sponsor it? No fuck. I'm just saying. Do you believe in me or not? And that's the fucking problem I'm really saying, y'all. That's why I say fuck the naysayers. I'm going to make it. You're going to make it, my Nardians. We're all going to make it. And we'll all be fucking fine. Okay? And don't let nobody talk down on your name. Know who you are. Know that you're destined for motherfucking greatness. And fuck the naysayers. Like I said, they could suck my Disney. You feel me? The fuck? But guess what, y'all? It's only Monday. It's only Monday. Imagine where you could be on Friday. In the blink of an eye, your life could change just like that. Now imagine that. <laughs>